Hello dear students, in this video I will continue with revision for term 2. I will continue with the topic integration and its applications. In this video I will solve the questions from exercise 3.4 where we have to find the value of the given definite integrals. So these are the questions from exercise 3.4 of CBC handbook. Evaluate the following definite integrals. The first one integral e to e square 1 by x log x dx. So first let us take let i is equal to the given integral. Let i is equal to integral e to e square 1 by x log x. Here we can see that we can make the substitution t as log x because derivative of log x is dx by x. So let us put t equal to log x so that dt will be dx upon x and now we can change the limits as well when x is equal to e t is equal to log e now we know that log e is equal to 1 log e to the base e is equal to 1 and when e is e, when x is equal to e square t is equal to log e square it is 2 log e we know log e is 1 so, when x is e, t is 1 and when x is e square, t is 2. So, the given integral becomes, so i is equal to integral 1 to 2. In place of dx by x, we have dt and in place of log x, we have t. So, it is dt upon t. Now, this is log t with the limits 1 to 2. Now let us substitute the upper limit log 2 minus the lower limit log 1. So log 1 is 0. So the given integral, the value for the given definite integral is equal to log 2. Moving on to the next question. Integral 1 to 2 e raised to minus log x dx. So first let us take let i is equal to integral 1 to 2 e raised to minus log x dx. Here we can see that we have to make the substitution log x is equal to t so that we have 1 by x dx it is equal to dt. If log x is equal to t then we have x is equal to e raised to t. So dx will be x dt x is e raised to t so it is e raised to t dt so let us substitute log x as t and dx as e raised to t dt in the given integral we should also change the limits when x is equal to 1 t is equal to log 1 which is 0 when x is equal to 2 t is equal to log 2. So, the given integral becomes integral 0 to log 2. We have taken log x as t. So, here we have e raised to minus t. So, it is e raised to minus t and dx is e raised to t dt. e raised to t dt. So, the given integral is here e raised to e raised to minus t into e raised to t is nothing but e raised to t upon e raised to t. So, these two will cancel. So, i is integral 0 to log 2 dt. Integral dt is t with the limits 0 to log 2. So, it is log 2 minus 0. So, the value of the given integral is log 2. Moving on to the next question. Integral log 2 to log 4. 2 raised to x dx. Now here first let us take let i is equal to integral log 2 to log 4 2 raised to x dx. Now let us put t is equal to 2 raised to x. So dt will be now we know that 
derivative of a raised to x is a raised to x log a. So dt will be 2 raised to x log 2 dx. Now this 2 raised to x we have taken as t. So dt upon t into log 2 will become dx. So the given let us change the limits also. When x is equal to log 2, t is equal to 2 raised to log 2. And when x is equal to log 4, t is equal to 2 raised to log 4. So the given integral becomes integral 2 raised to log 2 to 2 raised to log 4. 2 raised to x we have taken as t and dx is dt upon t into log 2. So t into dt upon t into log 2. So this t and this t will cancel. So the given integral becomes 1 by log 2 into integral 2 raised to log 2 to 2 raised to log 4 dt. So integral dt is t. So it is t with the limits 2 raised to log 2 to 2 raised to log 4. So the value of the given integral is 2 raised to log 4 the upper limit minus substituting the lower limit 2 raised to log 2 upon log 2. So this is the integral of the value of the given integral. Moving on to the next question. Integral 0 to root 3 x upon 16 minus x raised to 4 dx. So this is very easy. Let us take let i is equal to integral 0 to root 3 x upon 16 is we can write it as 4 square and x raised to 4 we can write it as x square the whole square dx. Here we can make the substitution t as x square so that dt upon 2 will be x dx. So let us put t is equal to x square implies dt by 2 is x dx. Now let us change the limits as well when x is 0 t is 0. When x is root 3, t is root 3 the whole square. So root and square will go, it is equal to 3. So i is equal to integral 0 to 3. x dx is dt by 2. So it is half integral dt upon here 4 square minus x square we have taken as t. So it is 4 square minus t square. 4 square minus t square. Now we know the integral of integral dx upon integral dx upon a square minus x square. It is equal to 1 by 2a log mod a plus x upon a minus x plus c. So we know this result where Integral dx upon a square minus x square is given by 1 by 2a log mod a plus x upon a plus x a minus x plus the constant of integration c. Here in definite integral we can substitute the limits. So i is equal to half into here a is 4. So 1 by 2 into 4 log mod a is 4 and x is t 4 plus t upon 4 minus t with the limits 0 to 3. Here if we simplify we get 1 by 16 into log of i is equal to 1 by 16 into if we substitute the upper limit we get log 4 plus 3 upon 4 minus 3 so it is 7 by 1 log 7 then minus if we substitute the lower limit t as 0 we get log 4 by 4 which is log 1. So log 1 is 0. So the given integral is 1 by 16 log 7. So this is the value of the given definite integral.
moving on to the next question integral 0 to 1 1 by root of x plus 1 minus root x dx so let us take let i is equal to integral 0 to 1 1 by root of x plus 1 minus root x dx now first let us now let us try to simplify this function so let us take consider 1 by root of x plus 1 minus root x. Let us multiply and divide by root of x plus 1 plus root x. So, we get root of x plus 1 plus root x upon here root of x plus 1 minus root x into root of x plus 1 plus root x. It is of the form a minus b into a plus b. So, it is a square plus b square. I am sorry a square minus b square. So, this root and the square will go. So, we have root of x plus 1 plus root x upon x plus 1 minus x. So, this integral reduces to root x plus 1 plus root x. So, i is equal to integral 0 to 1 root x plus 1 plus root x dx. Now, we know how to integrate this function. So, this is nothing but x plus 1 the whole raised to half. So, integral x plus 1 the whole raised to half is x plus 1 the whole raised to half plus 1 upon half plus 1 plus root x is x raised to half. So, the integral of root x is x raised to half plus 1 upon half plus 1 which is 3 by 2 with the limits 0 to 1. So, here the reciprocal 2 by 3 is common, it is it can be taken outside and let us substitute the limits. So, here we have 1 plus 1, so 2 raised to 2 raised to 3 by 2 plus here 1 raised to 3 by 2 minus when we substitute the lower limit we get 0 plus 1, so it is 1 raised to 3 by 2 minus 0. So, 1 and 1 will go. Now, 2 raised to 3 by 2 is nothing but 2 raised to 1 plus half. So, it is 2 into 2 raised to half or it is 2 root 2. So, this is 2 by 3 into 2 root 2. So, the value of the given definite integral is 4 root 2 upon 3. So, this is the value of the given definite integral. Moving on to the next question. Integral 0 to 1 e raised to x into root of 1 plus e raised to x dx. So, first let us take the given integral as i is equal to integral 0 to 1 e raised to x into 1 plus e raised to x dx. Here we can see that if we make the substitution t as 1 plus e raised to x, then dt will be e raised to x dx. So, let us put t is equal to 1 plus e raised to x. So, from this we get dt as e raised to x dx. Let us change the limits as well. When x is equal to 0, t is equal to 1 plus e raised to 0. So, it is 1 plus 1 which is 2. And when x is equal to 1, t is equal to 1 plus e raised to 1 which is e. So, the given integral becomes integral 2 to 1 plus e. This root of 1 plus e raised to x, we can write it as root t and e raised to x dx, we can put dt. So, it is root t dt. Now, we know how to find integral root t dt. It is t raised to 3 by 2 upon 3 by 2. So, it is 2 by 3 into t raised to 3 by 2 with the limits 2 to 1 plus e. So, i is equal to 2 by 3 into 1 plus e the whole raised to 3 by 2 minus 2 raised to 3 by 2. So, it is 2 by 3 into 1 plus e the whole raised to 3 by 2 and 2 raised to 3 by 2 we just now saw it is 2 root 2. So, this is the value of the integral of this 
function. Moving on to the next question. Integral 4 to 5, 1 by root of x square minus 16 dx. So, this is, we are familiar with the direct result. We can apply that result and find the value of this integral easily. So, integral 1 by root of x square minus 16, we can write it as x square minus 4 square dx. Now, we are familiar with the result integral dx upon root of x square minus a square. It is equal to log mod x plus root of x square minus a square plus c. So, using that result, this is equal to log mod x plus root of x square minus 4 square with the limits 4 to 5. So, first let us substitute the upper limit. So, we get log of 5 plus root of 5 square is 25 minus 4 square is 16. Now, let us substitute the lower limit log mod x is 4 plus here if we substitute x as 4 we get 4 square minus 4 square which is 0. So, this is equal to log mod 5 plus root 9 minus log 4 or it is log mod root 9 is 3. So, 5 plus 3 is 8. So, it is log 8 minus log 4. Now, log 8 we can write it as log 2 cube minus log 4 we can write it as log of 2 square. Now, using the loss of using the properties of logarithm log of a raised to m is m log a. So, log 2 cube is 3 log 2 and log 2 square is 2 log 2. So, 3 log 2 minus 2 log 2 is nothing but it is equal to log 2. So, the value of this given definite integral is log 2. Moving on to the next question. Integral 0 to 1 log of 1 plus 2x dx. Here we have to use integration by parts to solve this integral. So, let us take let i is equal to integral 0 to 1 log of 1 plus 2x dx. So, assuming log of 1 plus 2x as the first function and the constant function 1 as the second function and applying integration by parts, we get i is equal to the first function we have to keep as it is and let us substitute the limits from 0 to 1 integral 1 into dx minus integral 0 to 1 derivative of the first function. Derivative of the first function is 1 by 1 plus 2x into using chain root we have to differentiate this 1 plus 2x again into 2 integral 1 into dx dx. So, here if we substitute the limits for this we get log 1 plus 2 minus log 1 into x with the limits 0 to 1 minus integral 0 to 1. Here integral dx is x and there is 1 2 outside. So, 2x upon 1 plus 2x dx. So, this is log 3 minus 0 into 1 minus 0 applying the limits for this minus integral 0 to 1. Here in the numerator I am adding and subtracting 1. So, 1 minus 1 plus 2x minus 1. I am adding and subtracting 1 upon 1 plus 2x dx. So, this will be log 3 into 1 which is log 3. So, i is equal to log 3 minus here 1 plus 2x upon 1 plus 2x will be 1 
integral 0 to 1, 1 minus 1 by 1 plus 2x dx. Now it is easy to integrate. So it is log 3 minus integral dx is x minus integral dx upon 1 plus 2x is log mod 1 plus 2x. Then we have to divide by the coefficient of x which is 2 with the limits 0 to 1. Now first let us substitute the upper limit. So it is log 3 minus when we substitute x as 1 here we get 1 minus half log of 1 plus 2. 1 minus half log of 1 plus 2 minus when we substitute the lower limit we get 0 plus half log 1. So log 1 is 0. So this is log 3 minus 1 plus half log 3. The other terms become 0. Now this log 3 plus half log 3 is 3 by 2 log 3. 3 by 2 log 3 minus 1. So this is the value of the given definite integral. Moving on to the next question. Integral 0 to 4 x square minus 9 dx. Again here we are familiar with the standard result. We can use that standard result and uh, substitute the limits to find the answer. So first let us take integral 0 to 4 root of x square plus 9 is d square dx. Now we know integral root of x square plus a square dx it is equal to x by 2 root of x square plus a square plus a square by 2 log mod x plus root of x square plus a square plus c. Now this result we are familiar with. So the same result we can apply here where a is 3. So this is x by 2 root of x square plus 4 square. I am sorry 3 square plus a square by 2. Here a is 3 log mod x plus root of x square plus 3 square with the limits 0 to 4. Now first let us substitute the upper limit. So it is 4 by 2 root of 4 square is 16, 3 square is 9 plus 9 by 2 log mod 4 plus root of 4 square is 16, 3 square is 9 minus when we substitute the lower limit 0, here we get 0 minus 9 by 2 log mod. Here when we substitute x as 0, we get root of 3 square which is 3. So it is log 3. So this is 2 root of 25 plus 9 by 2 log of 4 plus root 25 minus 9 by 2 log 3. So i is equal to here root 25 is 5, 5 into 2 is 10, 10 plus 9 by 2 log of here we have 4 plus root 25 is 5. So 4 plus 5 is 9 log 9 minus 9 by 2 log 3. So this is 10 plus here 9 by 2 is common. Let us take it outside 9 by 2 into log 9 is log of 3 square minus log 3. So this is 10 plus 9 by 2 into log 3 square is 2 log 3 minus log 3. So 2 log 3 minus log 3 is log 3. So we got the value of the given definite integral. It is 10 plus 9 by 2 log 3. So this is the value of the given definite integral. The last question integral 0 to 1 3 t square upon 1 plus t cube into 2 plus t cube dt. Here we can see that we can make the substitution u as t cube so that du will be 3 t square dt. Here first let us write let i is equal to 
the given integral. Integral 0 to 1, 3 t square upon 1 plus t cube into 2 plus t cube dt. Here we can see that if we make the substitution some function u as t cube then du will be 3 t square dt. So, let us put u equal to t cube so that du will be 3 t square dt and let us change the limits also when t equal to 0 that is the lower limit u is 0 t is equal to 1 u is equal to 1 cube which is 1. So, the given integral becomes integral 0 to 1. In place of 3 t square we have du and in place of t cube we have u. So, it is du upon 1 plus u into 2 plus u. Now, we know how to find the integral of this function. We have to use integration by partial fractions. So, let us take let 1 by 1 plus u into 2 plus u. It is a by 1 plus u plus b by 2 plus u. So, from this we get the numerator 1 is equal to a into 2 plus u plus b into 1 plus u. Now, comparing the coefficient of u and constant terms on both sides. Here the constant term on left hand side is 1 and on the right hand side it is 2a plus b. So, we get 2a plus b equal to 1 and then the coefficient of u on the left hand side is 0. On the right hand side is it is a into u plus b u. So, coefficient of u on the right hand side is a plus b. So, we have a plus b equal to 0. Now, if we solve these two equations, we will get the value of a and b. If we subtract 1 minus 2, here b minus b will become 0. 2a minus a will be a. So, a will be 1 minus 0 which is 1. And from equation 2, we can see that b is equal to minus a. So, we got a as 1, b will be minus 1, b equal to minus 1. So, the given integral becomes integral 0 to 1, 1 by 1 plus u minus 1 by 2 plus u du. And now, we know how to integrate these functions. So, it is log mod 1 plus u minus log mod 2 plus u with the limits 0 to 1. So, if we substitute the upper limit as 1, we will get log 1 plus 1 minus log 2 plus 1. So, it is log 2 minus log 3 minus if we substitute the lower limit, it is log 1 plus 0 log 1. Then minus of minus plus log 2 plus 0 log 2 plus log 2. Now log 1 is 0. So this is 2 log 2 minus log 3. This 2 log 2 we can write it as log 2 square minus log 3. So it is log 4 minus log 3. We know log a minus log b is log a by b. So, log 4 minus log 3 is log 4 by 3. Therefore, the value of the given different integral is log of 4 by 3. I hope this video was useful for you. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. Thank you for watching.